Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration video. In this video, we're taking a look at the formula tool, taking a deep dive looking at string functions within the Alteryx environment and how we can deploy them in our workflows. If you're interested in the other function categories, check out some of our other videos. Recall that when we're referencing strings within the Alteryx environment, those pieces of text or strings need to be inside of quotes. Here we have a listing of all the uh, string formulas that um, Alteryx includes. You'll see that the, uh, there are different components to each one of these. Um, some have just one component they need, like the string field reference. Others have many, where you need either the string and then the target, or if you're looking for a certain length that you're looking to pad a uh, string field as well, you can do that. A lot of great functions available. We're going to take a close look at the replace function, which is a favorite of our Excel users, being able to find and replace certain pieces of text. You'll see that the replace function, when we pull it through, is a three-part formula. So we can take it apart piece by piece. The first piece here is the string, or we're asking to reference a string field within the Alteryx environment. The second part of the formula is the target, or what piece of text we're looking for. And then the third piece is the replacement text. You can also leave that as just quotes if you want it to be uh, replaced with nothing. But in this case, it's going to look for that dash or slash and replace it with a period for us. So the formula tool can be found in our favorites bar. It is circular and blue, so it comes from our preparation category as well. Here we're going to be looking at a couple of the examples uh, provided in the example canvas from Alteryx. You can also find it in the search bar as always. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at example number three, how to create a new modified column with a string function. So bringing out a brand new formula tool and clicking on the incoming anchor to see the data as it's flowing into the tool. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a closer look at how we want to configure this. From the drop-down, we'll select Add a New Column, and we can define the name of that new column. In this case, we're going to look at City, but apply the title case function. So clicking on the blue F of X, you'll see there's a search bar where we can search for functions. But in our listing, they're broken into categories. So let's go all the way down to String and take a look at some of the string functions that are available to us. If you're an Excel user, uh, you'll notice that there are a lot of equivalent <clears throat> excuse me, functions that are available within Alteryx. We're going to take a look at the title case function. And here when we reference the function, we see that it pulls through some text and the word string is highlighted. And this is Alteryx asking us to plug in a string field as a reference. So when I reference the field of city, you'll see that record number one has Denver in all caps. And the data preview in the formula tool is showing me Denver in title casing, which is exactly what we want to see. So hitting the run button and looking at the output anchor, again, input, output, looking at the data before or after. So we want to look at the data after this formula tool to see the impact of the function. And we can see that on the far right of our data set, we have a new field called city title case, where that text has been replicated, but the title case function has been applied. We can apply similar logic to update an existing column in example number four. So instead of defining a new column to add to the data set this time, we're going to select city and update the city field. And you'll notice that when we select this field, we will not have the ability to change the data type from a string to something else but we have the ability to update this field with a new expression. Here by typing the word title, it's gonna search for all available functions and field references matching that text. And selecting them from the list, we can quickly add in a very similar function. In this case, we don't have a new field added, we're just updating the text in an existing field. The fifth example is how we can use a single formula tool to apply multiple functions. 
And we can have as many references as we'd like. So I'm actually going to copy and paste the previous formula tool. And then I'm going to go up to example number two and copy the expression. And you'll see by selecting the blue plus icon, I've created an extra expression box within our existing formula tool. So now we have one formula tool that's applying to expressions. One is updating the city field, and the other is creating a, a new field called region with a conditional formula. We can add as many of these references as we'd like. So here we can again hit the blue plus icon. I'm going to add one more new field called record source and use a basic string function of having text inside of quotes to hard code some text and assign it to each of our records. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.